Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some live deal analysis for Q4 Christmas season sourcing and share some strategies with you that are gonna really help you find those top selling deals. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson, and I've been selling on Amazon now doing online arbitrage for the last five years. Now I'm a seven figure seller and I've been selling in the UK and the USA, and hopefully I'm gonna expand into another marketplace in the future. And if you're interested in learning how I've done it, what I'm doing and what I'm learning on my journey, do make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So what are we gonna go through today? Well, first thing first, let's give you a little bit of a backstory behind this. Number two, let's go through some live deal analysis and I'll show you what we're looking at when we're doing deals analysis for Q4 Christmas and things you want to be careful of. And then finally, number three, we're going to share some top strategies for you that are going to help you find more of these deals going forward. So let's get started. Let's give you a little bit of a backstory. Now, as you might all know, I've been selling on Amazon now doing online arbitrage for the last five years within the UK marketplace. And with my years of experience, what I wanted to do with this video today is to share with you some top tips and tricks, things that are going to help you and things you need to consider when doing deal analysis for the Q4 Christmas season. Now, let me tell you that time and time again, we've seen that Christmas is one of, if not the most profitable and the most important seasons to make money on Amazon. Spending typically ramps up as us, as sellers, but also as well, our customers are buying a lot more. And this is due to the festive period during the holiday season because people are getting ready to shop for Christmas. They're doing presents, holidays, meals, lighting decorations, even things like the, the office festivities. Even though COVID is now changed, we're still having the Christmas. Everyone wants to feel part of that. And that, of course, means as sellers, we're busy buying to sell to the customers who are buying from us and also to making profit. Now, that is why in this video today, I'm going to share with you some live deal analysis of some products that I think you can look at, which are going to help you understand some things you really want to consider. But then also as well, I want to give you some different ideas of like things to think about. But then finally, I'm going to go through some strategies that are going to help you out in sourcing, finding top deals during this period. Okay, so today I'm talking about top deal analysis and sourcing strategies. I want to know what sourcing strategies are you using? What things are helping you find Q4 deals? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe what are you thinking about? Maybe I can help you as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this leads me nicely on to my next chapter, which is live deal analysis for the Christmas holiday season. So for this, what I want to do is I want to jump onto my computer. I'm going to load up two ASINs and I'm going to show you through what I'm looking at. And particularly, I'm going to be looking at the keeper chart. This is the key thing. And I'm going to show you what I'm looking at on the keeper chart and what you're going to need to be considering for these products. So let's jump on the computer now and we'll analyze these ASINs. Okay, so here we are right now on to a classic, literally a Thornton's classic chocolate. And what I'm going to do is scroll down and have a look at the keeper chart. And I really want to show that to you. So a couple of things I want to do. So let's scroll down now and actually jump down to this keeper chart. So here we are on the normal keeper chart. Absolutely fine. And what I really want to show to you, first things first, jump over to all year. Now, what I want to do with you is let's see if we can just zoom in. I'm going to do it on my screen. So now, this product has got a lot going on. You can see like new third party FDA, etc. Let's kind of turn that off for a second. And what we can see is what I want to show for you is look at this sales rank. First of all, just look at the sales rank. You can see if you come back to like June around Christmas time here, sales rank was 16. Really, really good. We come back to it down here, you can see sales rank dropped down to 405. I think we might be able to get a bit lower. Really, over that Christmas period, it dropped down. And then again, we can see down here around, this is the January time, coming around to like the December time, it dropped down really low again. So December the 12th, 19th, you know, it's 3,800, really good. So the first thing first, whenever you're looking for any seasonal products doing a seasonal deal analysis, sales rank is gonna be a key indicator. But there's something else you can look at. You can probably spot it in this graph, and there's a reason why you might wanna just recognize this pattern, but also how it's gonna help you. You can also notice probably at the December time, so we're thinking about here, here, and here, what else are we noticing? But if you look at the new sell account, it shoots right up. Now you can see here, this new sell account down the bottom is shooting up. This new sell account down the bottom is shooting up. And up here, you can see it's shot up as well. Now, why is this important? Well, because quite simply, it just helps reassure that you know, this is a product that comes in demand during the Christmas period, definitely. But what else can we also tell? We can also tell that because the new sell account's gone up, probably this product has got on sale. Maybe that the supplier has had an offer. And this is something that is really useful to know. So what I want to really share with you, when you're doing your deal analysis sourcing or live analysis sourcing, and maybe between now and Christmas, look at the keeper chart, always pick it open for one year and have a look not only for drops in the sales rank going down December time, but also look for spikes in the new sell account. 
Spikes also indicate the fact there is available stock coming in. You might want to take a note of that ASIN. And if we have a look here, it's saying this is November the 8th. This is coming in around October, so beginning of November. This is coming in around you know, December the 4th. So interesting enough, you can start to get a feel for when that product comes in. So you know what? Start building a list right now. It's going to help you identify which product you might want to source. Now you can go and look for the reverse sourcing, not at all, but it might be the case that, hey, around 1st of November, middle of November, we want to find these products. Maybe that's in an ASIN list on your calendar that week, reverse source these products, because you can see that they consistently come in stock. Now, in addition to that, the other thing which I will say is if you're looking at this product coming into like December, you can probably notice here it's, you know, the buy box on Amazon is saying five pounds. But the one thing we notice, and if I just zoom in to this period right here, what we notice is around December, this sales rank, you know, this starts going up. The number of new sellers is coming down because the demand, you know, that, that massive crash in new sellers means that this product starts really selling from about the fifth and it just goes crazy. Like literally we've gone from 38 new sellers on the fifth down to 21st, down to three. But also check out the price. It's gone from 1180 to going up to like nearly 20 pounds. Absolutely incredible. And it's still selling really fast. 5,600 sales rank down here is 1,535. So when you're looking at these products and you're doing your analysis, maybe you spot one because the sales rank goes down. Do have a look at, you know, number one, the new seller count, but also how quick that new seller count comes down. That's going to give you, along with the new the sales rank, how fast that's going to happen. Now, the one thing that I say is it might be the case that you stock up around here, for example, mid-November, and you say, look, I need to hold this product until maybe December the 18th, the price starts going up. And actually, if you look at the data, oh God, it's still even selling really well into January the 3rd, 13,000 sales rank. This time, you're not getting 1180, you're getting an extra five pounds on top of that. That is something to consider. So that's one product that I want to look at there. Number one, we're looking at the sales rank drops around Christmas time. Number two, we're looking at the new seller count and how that rises, but also because that tells us about when stock comes into the supply, but also how quick it goes down and how long we should hold for. That's an important point when you're looking at. Now, another one which I'll jump over to, and I do love these, these are advent calendars. So for example, I've done this before, and what I'll do is I'll drop a link up here to uh, an advent calendar I sold before, which I think was the Amazon advent calendar 2022. Now, I'm not saying you can necessarily sell this, but these are really useful to look at the keeper chart. Again, I've kind of really come down. Let's kind of zoom in on this keeper chart right now. So the one thing that you can see, again, is this has dropped down. You can see in January, December time, I just scroll down there, you December, really, really good. But then you can also see in January, it starts going up, 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 up. And it's just really not selling here. Yes, it is selling, definitely, but it's not selling half as much. So for you, the reason why I show you this is because when you're doing your sourcing, when you're looking for that, you know, all you're going back over, just be mindful of this kind of like arch where it kind of comes up. It's because that means it is definitely a seasonal product. It is definitely a product that is selling during the time when that sales rank comes down really low. And what you want to do is make sure you get it in and get out and get sold. Now, interesting enough, like I'm just going to say this, I'm not saying you should definitely do it. You can see here back in the day, this was selling for £70. Right now it's going for like 58 You could have got it down for like 46 with a bit of profit there. But I knew people who were buying this back then flipping onto eBay, making money. So you can definitely do that. Oh my God, look at the price down here. You can have like 35. So definitely, obviously there was an opportunity. The other one you might look at is some people will see where like Amazon comes out of stock. You can see Amazon's coming out of stock a lot. You can buy and resell and, and do take advantage of all of that. But what I really want to focus on here is there is opportunity during this Christmas period. Sales are insane, but also just make sure that you're clearing out after that Q4 period. If that keeper chart is showing you that the new sell, the sales rank goes up and up and up. So there you go, some top deal analysis there around what you want to look on the keeper chart, how you can identify when stock comes into the season, save that onto your to-do list. And then finally, obviously when you need to get out, maybe when you need to hold first of all, and then when you need to get out by. That's going to help you out when you're doing your deal analysis. Okay, so today I'm talking about analyzing deals, sourcing deals, getting you the top deals for the Q4 and especially the Christmas period. Now, the one thing which I'll say is, obviously I've been doing this for five years now and I've built pretty much two seven-figure businesses, I've got an army of VAs and what can I recommend to you? Well, look, if you're struggling to find deals and it's hard, it's time consuming, then you can access all the deals that my own team are finding. Not the deal that I buy, but every deal that I 
find. That's an important point. We have created a service called Fast Track FBA Deals Service. And this is whereby all the deals that my own team that we are looking at right now, sourcing, finding for Q4, you too can access. What do you do? Well, you come in, you buy tokens from Fast Track FBA Online Deals. And then what do you do? You come into our platform. We've got all the deals on there as they come in live for my team Monday to Friday. What do you do? You can look at all the profits, ROIs, keeper charts, everything that you want to do. We just hide the supplier, the product name, and the Amazon ASIN. When you're ready and you like the product, you use the tokens, you buy from us, you unlock the product, get access to the supplier URL and the Amazon ASIN by low resale high on Amazon for a profit. Now, quite simply, we understand there is obviously going to be a worry about competition. So in the UK, we reduce down the competition to five other sellers plus myself. And potentially, we're not buying everything. And then number two, also as well in the US, we're doing 10 sellers plus myself again not buying everything. Now, if you have any problems, we have a world-class refund system and it's completely game-changing. It's the only system whereby you get to choose the deals that you get, not get given them. And also every time you buy a deal, you can see actually we reduce it down until the five or the 10 in the US have reduced down. So we are really limiting restricting supply. We don't want to price crash our own deals. But if you are interested in getting access to my own seven figure sourcing team and all the deals we're finding, check out the link down below, Fast Track FBA Online Deals. Okay, so this leads me nicely onto my third chapter, which is top tips and strategies for you for sourcing. So what do I recommend? Well, first things first, number one, check your keeper graph. Now look, I cannot stress this enough. Check keeper to know the product sales, the history and what you want to know about the items they're selling in Q4. By checking that keeper graph over the year, you can determine the historical selling price, see the new selling count, and see what's selling and when it comes into stock with your suppliers. Number two, check your records from last year. Now look, if you've been selling on Amazon for longer than a year, check those sales from last year. What was selling, what suppliers, what worked, what didn't. Check that, stop reinventing the wheel, start copying what you did last year, and then build on that as well. Now, the third top tip for you and strategy I'd really recommend is don't overstock in seasonal items. You know, looking at a keeper chart, remember, how the sales rank went straight up. Look at those products, just buy enough to get you to December and make sure you're tracking that stock, getting it sold when you need to. You do not want to be holding advent calendars after January or after December not going to work. Checking past performance and keeper by going out for the whole year is really going to support you. And that's going to give you the basis for the amount you need to buy as well. Now, my fourth top tip and strategy for you is outsource. If you're thinking about spending too much time or right now too much time sourcing, then you might as well outsource. Get a VA, Fast Track FBA, do VAs, check them out. Look at our lead service, our online arbitrage deals. There you can get access to my own sourcing team. That's so easy. And that's absolutely amazing. And the fifth and the final top tip for you is really check those keeper charts and look at the new Sell account. That is probably one of the biggest indicators I can tell you about when stock comes into play with the suppliers. I cannot stress that enough. Build that ASIN sourcing list. That's going to help you out. Now, what I will say is hopefully you have liked this video. This has helped you out with some real insights into like what you need to be looking at when you're doing a deal analysis, even now, but also going forward. And what I will say is when you find those products are going to be helpful, but also finding them is going to be the hard part. So what do I recommend? Check out this playlist called Sourcing 101. I'll drop it around here. It's going to show you all the top techniques. Maybe it might be that you find a source, a product you like now. You can use lease sourcing. You can use reverse sourcing, storefront sourcing to find other ones. That is going to help you. Check that out. Now, what I will say is hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below. Or for myself, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA. Thank you very much.